Hi everyone! Welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I bring another beautiful and easy blanket. This baby blanket look both sides same. And this blanket so nice and warm for the baby. Even this border really simple and so beautiful. I made this blanket for the baby boy. If you like to make this baby girl, you can use pink and white or even you can choose any color if you like. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you like to watch my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. These all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, let's get start. Before we move the tutorial, I'm going to show you how this look like this stitch. This stitch, both sides look same. This calling fluffy cotton candy stitch. This nice and thick for the baby blanket. I made this blanket for the baby boy. If you like to make a baby girl, you can use pink and white. For this blanket, I use 500 gram yarn wool. This yarn is double knitting yarn. Four yarn ball for the blanket. This one yarn ball have a hundred gram and three hundred meters. And recommend hook is the four. This four yarn ball for the blanket. To this border, I use blue and white, hundred gram, fifty gram white, and fifty gram blue. This all together 100 gram for the border. For this blanket, I'm gonna make this blue yarn ball with the four yarn ball. I'm using today 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. This blanket I made side to side. Then I start with the chain. This blanket size is 100 cm. I'm going to start with the blue color yarn. And I'm using this stitch counter. In my previous video, I show how to use this stitch counter. This is really helpful for making big project. I'm going to put this one in a back side to hook and I'm using 4 millimeter 4.5 millimeter crochet hook to begin slip knot and I'm gonna show you how to use this stitch counter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 9 10 10 chain I'm gonna mark here 1 and 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, I'm going to mark 2 like this. If you don't have any this stitch counter, you can use different color yarn. I'm going to show you how to use this different color yarn like this. I have a now 100 chain. Altogether, I need 144 chain. This is going multiplied 3. 110 chain Now I have 140 chain I need total totally 144 41 43 sorry 43 44 41 42 43 I'm going to turn this chain to this back side Now you can see here is a little rip I'm going to skip two chain into the third chain. I'm going to make two double crochet, one double crochet and two double crochet into the same space. One, two, three, skip one, two into the third chain. I'm going to make single crochet, single crochet. 
and two double crochet into the same space one and two you can see here I have a one and two double crochet I skip two chain into the third chain again single crochet and two double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet you can see this pattern now I skip two chain into the third chain one two into the third chain single crochet and two double crochet one two skip two into the third chain one single crochet and two double crochet one two it's look like this you have to make all the way to the end I'm going to show you how it look like this first row this the first row you can see here first row it's look like this I skip two chain and into the third chain single crochet and two double crochet I skip two chain one two into the third chain single crochet and two double crochet one two again skip two into the third one one single crochet and two double crochet I'm going to show you how to make this corner now I've finished this all the way to the this chain I skip two chain into the third chain one single crochet and two double crochet one and two I skip two chain into the third chain single crochet and two double crochet now I have a three chain left you can see this the third chain if you take extra chain you can remove like this like this you can remove extra chain but I have a exactly right amount then I'm gonna skip this two chain into the last chain I'm gonna make one single crochet single crochet this the first row it look like this this the back side I have a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 47, altogether 47 and I'm gonna make second row now chain one turn other side into this single crochet space two I gonna make two double crochet one two next one is going into this single crochet skip this two double crochet into this 
single crochet I'm gonna make single crochet and two double crochet one two again skip two double crochet into the single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet one two skip two double crochet into the single crochet single crochet and two double crochet it's look like this this is the back side you can see in here this is the first line and second line coming to other side You have to make each single crochet to one single crochet and two double crochet all the way to the other side into this single crochet to single crochet and two double crochet now I'm nearly finished second round it's look like this I have a 47 butt and 104 centimeter single crochet and two double crochet single crochet into this single crochet and two double crochet end of this second round I gonna finish with this you can see this here I skip two chain into this first chain single crochet into this chain single crochet chain one this the second round now I'm going to start third round, chain one, turn other side, into this single crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet and two double crochet. Next skip this two double crochet. You can see here I made one single crochet with the two double crochet. Now skip this two double crochet into the single crochet again single crochet and two double crochet this pattern is going one single crochet with the two double crochet into the single crochet single crochet and two double crochet skip this two double crochet into this single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet into this single crochet one single crochet and two du double crochet in the third round it's look like this you can see one side have a one button and other side have a two but like this it's still, it's still you can't see this pattern you can see this pattern clearly after five or six row now I'm gonna make each single crochet to one single crochet and two double crochet I'm gonna show you end of this round three how how to fi finish this round three now I'm nearly finished round three Each single crochet to are gonna make single crochet and two double crochet one two into this single crochet single cro one single crochet and two double crochet into this single crochet again one single crochet and two double crochet 
Now I'm gonna finish third round. You can see here I have a one single crochet and one chain. We turn this with the chain one into this single crochet, not for the chain one, single crochet, one single crochet and chain one, turn other side again into this single crochet, two double crochet. One, two. Skip this two double crochet into the single crochet, one single crochet, and two double crochet. Make sure when you turn the row, sing one single crochet with the chain one. Then it's coming perfect line to both sides into this single crochet again one single crochet and two double crochet one single crochet two double crochet this the look like round four you can see this both side is look same this side have a two bubbles and In, you can see in this finished blanket still you can't see this pattern yet I'm gonna show you end of this round four how to finish this round four again skip this two double crochet into the single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet. Now I'm nearly finished round four. It's look like this. This blanket totally have a hundred and four centimeter. This the other side. You can see this both side is look same now into the single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet i'm going to show you one more time how to turn the this row one single crochet and two double crochet you can see here we made one single crochet and one chain into this single crochet not for the chain into this single crochet, I'm going to make one single crochet and chain one. Make sure you have to make one single crochet and one chain. Into this single crochet space to two double crochet. How is That's how is we turn the row. Skip this two double crochet into this single crochet again single crochet and two double crochet again single crochet you can see this this side is line is coming perfectly this side have a three button and this have a two this pattern is now is nearly you can see this pattern you have to make this each single crochet to one single crochet and two double crochet and make sure when you turn the row you have to make single crochet and chain one follow this pattern all the way to the this blanket size I made for this blanket 90 row This full of blanket, I made 90 row after this coming. Eight single crochet to make one single crochet and two double crochet. 
follow this pattern all the way to the this end of this blanket single crochet and two double crochet Now I'm nearly finished this blanket. This is my last row. This is a 90. You can see this blanket look like. It look like this. When you finish this blanket. I made 144 chain to 90 row. into this single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet one two again into this single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet one two i'm gonna finish this row into this single crochet into this single crochet, I'm going to make one single crochet. Now I'll finish this blanket. You can see this both sides look same. I'm going to make this side line to same stitch. Single, into the single crochet I'm gonna make two double crochet same stitch I'm gonna make to this side for this blanket side you can see we we, we make this side each row to I make one chain with the one single crochet into the single crochet again this the single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet one two again skip chain space into the single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet one single crochet and two double crochet I'm gonna use this same stitch around to this blanket it's look like this when you finish this side to stitch the both side is coming same side and I'm gonna show you how to turn this corner this is the second corner. I'm going to show you how to make second corner. This is the first corner. I'm going to make three side to this same stitch. We don't want to make the top this one side. One side already we have the same stitch. We need three side to this stitch. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the second corner. Now I finish this, this side to same stitch. It look like this. This is the first corner. This is the first corner. And after this, the second corner. Now I'm going to show you how to turn this side. Two double crochet into the single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet you can see this this the first line skip two chain with the single crochet with the double crochet we start with the skip two chain and into the same space to two double crochet I'm gonna make into the same space one single crochet and two double crochet 
वन टू अगेन वी स्किप दिस टू चेन इन टू दिस थर्ड चेन इन टू द सेम स्पेस दिस स्पेस आई गोन मेक वन सिंगल क्रोशेट विद द टू डबल क्रोशेट and two double crochet again skip this space and into this third chain one single crochet with the two double crochet it's look like this second corner this the side this the blanket first row under this first row we have to make again same stitch this skip two chain and into the this third chain single crochet and a two double crochet this the third corner i'm going to show you how to turn this corner and this side follow this pattern all the way to the third corner it's look like this this the second corner this the first corner i'm going to make third corner now two double crochet and into this space single crochet and two double crochet and this single crochet is space to i going to make one single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet you can remember this first row we finished with the single crochet this the single crochet space and after this skip chain 1 space and single crochet space 2 i'm going to show you one more time skip this chain space chain this side have a chain and a single crochet into this single crochet one single crochet and two double crochet again skip chain space into the single crochet one single crochet with the two double crochet this the third corner this the first second third we gonna finish with the fourth corner this the side now this the fourth corner we don't want to make a this side we have already this top of this blanket same pattern into this single crochet one single crochet now i'm going to make this double crochet to slip stitch chain 1 you can see this both side now same is stitch they have a one single crochet with the two double crochet have a three stitches i'm going to make each stitch stop to one single crochet single crochet to one single crochet and two double crochet up to two single crochet each stitch stop to one single crochet you can see the here one single crochet top to one single crochet and double crochet top to single crochet it's look like this now we have a same stitches all the way to the this blanket now we have finished this side it's look like this you can see this each 
side have a same stitches now I'm going to show you how to turn this corner I'm going to make one corner I'm going to show you only one corner this follow this pattern all the way to this blanket single crochet top to single crochet and two double crochet up to two single crochet you can see this corner have a one single crochet into this single crochet I'm gonna make three double crochet that's how is we are turn this corner one double crochet and two double crochet and three double crochet again into this single crochet up to one single crochet and double crochet up to again single crochet each is stitched to one single crochet You can see this corner make each stitch to one single crochet again this corner into this single crochet to three double crochet Now I finish all around to this blanket single crochet. I'm gonna join with the single chain one with the slip stitch. Now I'm finished this blanket. You can see it's really nice and fin good finishing. I made each single crochet each stitch top to single crochet and each corner to I turn with the three double crochet you can see here each corner I turn with the three double crochet now I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful and really easy border for this blanket this border make this blanket more beautiful let's see how to make this border now this is the my finished blanket. I'm gonna make into this blanket this border with the white and blue. We have finished this blanket with this space. I'm gonna join this white color yarn and a blue color yarn. I'm gonna use this two color for the border. I'm gonna add sorry the I use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for the border sorry blanket and I'm gonna make four millimeter crochet hook with the border into this corner corner two I skip six single crochet and I'm gonna join this white color yarn into the this six single crochet I start with the chain four one two three four into the same space I'm gonna make one double crochet this is the first V stitch this is the first V stitch. Next one is going is skip two single crochet one two into the third single crochet. I'm gonna make second V stitch one double crochet one chain one double crochet into the same space. Skip two single crochet into the third single crochet one double crochet one chain one double crochet. skip two into the third one one double crochet and chain one and one double crochet 
color this pattern all the way to the this corner I'm going to show you how to turn this corner you can make really easy to this V stitch because we made single crochet around to this blanket now I'm finished nearly finished this side it look like this this is the first side Next, I'm going to show you how to turn this corner. Skip two double single crochet into the third single crochet, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Skip two, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Next, skip two double crochet into this you can see this three double crochet in the corner middle of the double crochet top one double crochet one chain one double crochet chain two one two again into the same space one more v stitch into the same space one double crochet one chain one double crochet you can see this corner i made Two V stitch, chain two, and one more V stitch. Skip two single crochet into the third single crochet to one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Follow this pattern all the way to the round blanket. Each corner have a three double crochet. This into the second double crochet to make two V stitch with the two double crochet. Now I finish around to this blanket V stitch. I'm going to show you how to turn this corner. Skip two, one V stitch. Skip two into the third single crochet, one V stitch. Skip two into the third single crochet to one V stitch. Skip two into the this corner one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet, chain two, one two into the same space again one more V stitch, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. This is the last corner. Skip two, one double crochet and chain one, one double crochet. Now I finish first round around to this blanket join with the third chain with the slip stitch this is the first round i'm going to join the second color but i'm not cut this yarn i'm going to tie this yarn make a loop bigger and go through this loop to this yarn ball and tie this yarn like this now I tied this yarn. Next I am using blue color yarn. Into this V stitch middle. I'm going to start with the here. Chain 4. 1. 2. 3. Four, into the same space to one more double crochet again into the next face stitch middle you can see here two double crochet 
with the single crochet one single sorry chain one I'm gonna make each V stitch middle to one V stitch with the blue color yarn one double crochet chain one one double crochet one double crochet chain one one double crochet it look like this I'm gonna show you how to turn this second round in a corner this corner now I'm nearly finished this second round it look like this I'm gonna show you how to turn this corner with the blue color yarn into this each V stitch to one V stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet this corner have a two V stitch first V stitch to one V stitch you can see here two chain into this two chain I'm gonna make one more V stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet and again into this V stitch two one double crochet one chain one double crochet you can see here I make this two V stitch with the two chain I make into the this two chain to one V stitch it's look like this follow this pattern all the way around to this blanket next corner is coming like same and I'm gonna show you end of this second round how to finish this second round this we each we stitch to we stitch and this each corner have a two chain two into the two chain to one we stitch I'm gonna show you in this last corner how to turn it each we stitch to we stitch with the blue color yarn this corner we stitch to one V stitch and into this two chain to one V stitch and again we stitch to one V stitch this is the last V stitch chain one one double crochet join with this third chain we have a four chain into the third chain with the slip stitch we go and tie this yarn make a loop bigger and go through this loop and pass this yarn ball through this loop and tie this yarn blue color yarn again I'm using white color yarn go through the first V stitch this is the first V stitch and pull the white color yarn now and make a four chain this is the white color yarn go through this V stitch and pull this yarn and make a chain four one two three four and one double crochet into the same space this is the third round first V stitch we don't want to cut this yarn again each V stitch to V stitch with the second color This round I'm gonna make V stitch with the white color. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to turn this round corner. This is the third round after look like. Now, I'm going to make third corner. Sorry, third round, first corner. You can see here, blue have a three corner. I'm going to increase with this middle is the one this chain two top have a one v stitch I'm gonna make one v stitch with the two chain two chain again one v stitch into the same space same like a first round you can see here first round we made this corner to two v stitch with the chain 2 and after each v stitch 2 v 1 v stitch again we are gonna make like this second round this blue color with the blue color 1 v stitch into this chain 2 1 stitch and this v stitch to 1 v stitch like this white color i made two v stitch with the two chain and blue color make three v stitch to each corner i'm gonna make three white color row and three blue color row i'm gonna show you end of this three color row now i'm nearly finished three color sorry three row with the white color this is the last V stitch now I can cut this yarn after join this third chain with the slip stitch join with the slip stitch and I'm going to cut this yarn now, white one. I have a three round with the white color. You can see this three color with the white and two color with the blue. Next, I'm going to use this blue color yarn with the last row. Chain three, one, two, three. Before we start with the chain four, now we start with the chain three. Into the same space, I'm going to make two double crochet. One, two, three. All together, one, two, three. Into the next, we stitch again three double crochet. One, two, three. This is the last row. Into the each, we stitch to three double crochet. One, two, three. Three double crochet. You can follow this pattern all around to this blanket. This corner have a three V stitch. I'm gonna show you how to turn this corner. Each V stitch to three double crochet. This is the last row. Now I'm nearly finished first row with the it's look like this now I'm going to show you how to turn this corner in the last row into this we stitch three double crochet one two three and here I have a two we stitch with the two chain into the first we stitch three chain three double crochet one two three and into this two chain two i'm gonna make three double crochet one two three and again into this v stitch two three double crochet it's really simple and so beautiful you can see this corner how we turn it make this all around to this blanket 
each we stitch to three double crochet this board is super simple and so beautiful I'm making nice finishing I'm gonna show you end of this row now I'm nearly finished this blanket this is the last V stitch into this V stitch I'm gonna make three double crochet one two three and join with this third chain with the slip stitch with the slip stitch now I can cut this yarn I'm gonna tie this yarn and we need to tie, hide these two yarn with the yarn needle. First, I'm going to hide this blue color yarn with this yarn needle. Make sure you have to hide this yarn is nicely. then make your blanket so finish so beautiful this board is so easy and so fast and make your blanket so beautiful Now I am finished this blanket, this is the border, you, you can see this in here I turned the color, you can see it in a side to like a zigzag this border, this is the my finished blanket with the beautiful border, I am gonna finish this blanket with this teddy bear. In my previous video, I show how to crochet this teddy bear. If you missed that, I'll give you a link down below. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.